Witness testimony is appropriate to discuss, in fact, needs to be discussed in opening statement. The documentary evidence that is key needs to be discussed, is required to be discussed in opening statement. Opening statement, as we're going to see in a couple of minutes here, is about a factually rich presentation. And it is in the small details that persuasion occurs. We don't want to be at 30,000 feet here. We want to be good storytellers using the actual facts of our case. After we've got the important issues, witnesses, documents, we want to distill them down. All right, I have 100 issues here. I have a three-day case. I can only talk about and base my case upon the top 10. I cannot worry about undermining everything in my opening statement that the defense will do. I need to identify what are the two or three best facts or best witnesses for them and figure out a way how we're going to deal with that. And we do that by a process of ranking. It can be uh, no more complicated than assigning a one uh, to the most important or highest fact down to a 10 to the least important. Uh, and this will force you using some kind of an objectifiable process to identify, okay, what is really important when I compare them to the other things? What am I really concerned about on the other side that I must touch upon in opening compared to the other things that may be proved against me? Right? You cannot spend all your time exhausting every small fact in the case. You need to be able to distill down to the three or five or seven key facts or witnesses or documents around which you're going to build this opening statement.